If you had to divide oncology in three, it would be medical oncology, surgical oncology, and radiation oncology. Um, medical and surgical oncology tend to be the most common, most known types of uh, specialties when it comes to oncology. Radiation oncology is the treatment of malignant cells with x-ray treatments. That's, that's our basis. Uh, we, call, we use IMRT or VMAT techniques. These are different types of techniques we use to deliver our radiation. Uh, we also do intraoperative uh, radiotherapy, which is application of the radiation seeds directly into the surgical cavity to be able to treat the patient while they're on the bed. We also sometimes do brachytherapy, which is insertion of uh, gold seeds uh, into wherever it is that we're targeting, so whether it's the prostate, uh, whether it's uh, a surgical cavity, lung, uh, cervical uh, cancer patients, endometrial cancer patients. So different modes of uh, delivery treatment, but in, in one sentence, radiation oncology is the study and treatment of cancer using radiation beams in different forms. And within the practice or department that you're working in, what are some of the common types of cancers uh, that you do come across? So technically I work for the entire department, which is 39 physicians, um, and that could mean I work in all side groups. Um, over the last four years, I've ended up working in lung, breast, GU, gynae, GI, eye, CNS, uh, pediatric, endocrine, pituitary, and uh, palliative clinic patients. Uh, but on, on a general in a general week, I would end up seeing mostly breast and GU patients because, as we know, breast and prostate cancer patients uh, tend to be the most common um, just general in general population. Uh, what do you like about working in radiation oncology? What do you enjoy? Um, I love working with all oncology patients. Uh, what I really like about radiation oncology is that each and every treatment plan is custom uh, designed for the individual patient. I like being able to look at the entire individual and not just uh, having one set of plan that we have for everybody. So for example, um, sometimes we have somebody on paper who looks like they've got comorbidities, everything from meningiomas to cardiac conditions to bone issues, but when you actually see the individual, they're upbeat and they want everything possible for their cancer care. Um, and on the contrary, we have somebody who is probably really frail and needs a lot of our support in getting where they need to get to eventually. So I like being able to sit with each individual person, planning out a treatment plan which is right for them, um, to be able to eventually get to the point where we are curing all of our patients of cancer. Um, it's a big upcoming thing right now. I know Princess Margaret's tagline is to come up with a cure for cancer in our lifetime. And I think everybody I work with is working extremely hard to get to that point, whether it's pathologists, radiologists, or med onks, or junks, red onks. Um, and being able, and just being part of that team uh, makes me feel like I'm doing something extremely valuable for the patients. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm giving back to the community that I've taken from all these years. And uh, what do you find challenging about uh, radiation oncology? Um, recently, I had a situation where um, I had to give bad news to an individual, a young individual. Um, I've been giving him one bad news after the other. First, a diagnosis of cancer, and then recurrence. We needed an extensive 14-hour surgery uh, with bone grafts and skin grafts, um, followed by extensive chemo radiotherapy. Made him very sick, and he was just starting to get better. And now I had to give him another piece of bad news about you know an, an, another cancer that was picked up incidentally while we were doing workup for the first malignancy and sometimes that becomes difficult when you have to break bad news um, the patients are very resilient and that's one thing I've learned about these cancer patients is that they will take everything you can throw their way um, but sometimes being on the other side of things gets a little hard I try to use it in a positive way in that I can help them to the best of my ability, um, whether it's just, you know, calling them a week later to checking in and just seeing how you're doing, because that means a lot to them, um, just knowing that their healthcare provider hasn't forgotten about them and they're not just a number in your chart. Uh, sometimes that gets difficult, but mm -hmm. it's something we can all learn from as well. Absolutely. And, uh...